Hey everybody! I'm just catching up, staying high. It's been a while and I just want to know how you're all doing. Um, I'm gonna stay for a few minutes. I have today our Zoom call. We are meeting with a, uh, a little group of my VIP members and we discuss things and share and learning and uh, it's been a very rewarding and wonderful experience. Um, I just want to reach out to everybody and ask you guys to be uh, aware of what you do. I made this video about uh, stop lying to yourself. It's a very short video on my channel. And yes, I did mean on that video that sometimes we just prefer to not face the truth. Sometimes we have all of fantasies that, oh, you know, um, this 19-year girl will sure love me, <laughs> you know, or, you know, we're chasing things just to uh, get away from uh, our confidence issues, you know, um, and then we say that every Ukrainian woman is materialistic and she's a scam, when often you search for wrong women and it's not only the age it's also um it's also a uh, lifestyle you know it's not necessarily uh, limited you know by all the guys uh, looking for the young ladies but it's very often guys looking for the wrong ladies with wrong values those that aren't looking to create a family and all they want is just some attention, maybe some gifts, and so forth. So, um, you know, once we take responsibility for our choices, once we take um, understanding that, you know what, I keep having the same, the people are changing, but basically I'm having the same relationship. Every woman I have in my life, you know, there is the same pattern, you know. Um, that's something to work on. Hey Bryce, how are you? <laughs> By the way, today on a Zoom call, we, we're going to be talking about um, lessons from our failed relationships. And, you know, some of us are so embarrassed, you know, things we did. And we think that, you know, those experiences uh, are, how to say this? We think that those experiences are you know, so shameful and we have to hide it, but really, uh, oops, my phones are on, um, but really, you know, we, in a way we are blessed because we learn, you know, we learn from our own life. We can read tons of books on relationships, we can learn from other people, but what's really teaching us is our experience. Yes, it's nice when um, we are curious, we are open to learn, we actually open for information from other people, but nobody can live our life for us. I often get question about, Veronica, but what if things won't work out? What if she will hurt me? What if she will leave me? You know, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's just, you know, you never know unless you try. There is no blueprint and there is no guarantee. But one thing is for sure is that we should always work on ourselves. That's one thing that we are responsible. Yeah, it's it can be a roller coaster. <laughs> but I think, guys, you know, when you meet the right person, uh, the person that was meant to be for you, it's not necessarily a roller coaster. Usually, a roller coaster is with a person that is wrong. I know it's fun. I know it's exciting. I, I hear you on that, but really when two people meet who write for each other, who realize each other's value, they um, just feel fortunate. They don't want to waste time. They want to enjoy each other. So, if, uh, you know what I'm saying, if everything is a battle, is everything, um, is everything is, uh, 
always a heartbreak, there is always a scandal, that's the wrong person. Now, Bradley, thank you for bringing this up. Uh, you know, Russian scammer, yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately, guys, 80-90% of the online dating is pretty scammy. I mean, there is nothing uh, I can do. Yeah, Bradley, uh, we actually have an... Um, you know, we're having a call tonight. We're not necessarily going to talk about scams, but you can talk to Dave. Hello, Dave. Uh, Dave is um, helping me out, and he's um, he knows a lot about that kind of thing. And, guys, unfortunately, um, these websites, it's a big, big business. Um, and I think it's like a billion-dollar industry. And there are some honest websites um, and especially matchmaking service it's like when you have somebody who is matching you um, I'm starting doing a little bit of that uh, there are some people who've been doing this for years uh, so yeah but uh, you know matchmaking is is really good especially with those matchmakers that are you know established and we can help you with that you know I have some other ideas how to meet nice ladies I'm gonna tell you in a minute hello Mitch I hope you're joining us tonight at our zoom call yeah 80-90% it's scary but you know what I, w I have a good news at the same time 80-90% of that sometimes I mean that person doesn't even exist and it's a bad news but at the same time it's a good news because um, that's not a real person it doesn't represent real Ukrainian women that's what I'm saying it's just picture of a model guys you know so you lose your mind over that picture and a professional translator behind it and then you know I talk to guys and they're like oh she's so deep Veronica she is so smart and you know I can understand I, I see the picture I see professional pictures and I see professional translator and I'm not laughing at you guys I'm just saying um, it's actually hurts me physically to see that you know you're losing your money you're losing your time you're losing your effort and it goes to nowhere you know it's just really sad oh great great David it would be awesome to see you today Yeah, actually, Ethan, there are some uh, places in U.S., you know, with a larger Russian community. And actually, that's something I would like to research, too. Uh, there are definitely Russian community uh, in almost any state, so you can figure out where it is and uh, go there, you know, and just socialize. Like, even in Michigan, we have an arbor where a lot of my friends that I barely ever see because I'm a workaholic uh, but they gather, they have great time um, and when I come there I feel home so if you research your state there should be a place where Russian community uh, get together like Russian restaurants and stores and also at the universities hey Jesus <laughs> nice to see you So I'm just looking at some questions or messages. Yeah, so guys, I was just saying that, you know, yes, there is a lot of scamming online, a lot of those things, unfortunately, they just made to make you pay, like you pay for the letters and chats. And, you know, I was talking to somebody who is really very special, wonderful client of mine. And he was, he's such a gentleman. And and um, he went to Ukraine and he noticed that um, when he talks with his lady, you know, she's texting, you know, they do video chats through the agency and so forth. And, you know, that she's not attentive, you know, and uh, all that. So I don't really know about that agency, Dave. Um, so... It's really, you know, you really have to be uh, aware. If you see those non-verbal things when, you know, you pay for chats, you know, you do things, but the person is really distracted, you know, she's on her phone or she looks really bored like that, 
you know, what can you do? I mean, you, you, you have to sometimes realize, okay, um, I guess it's not working out. Hey, Bronson! How you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm seeing all my awesome subs. What's up? You left us forever. How you doing? I'm I'm gonna tell everybody your secret. You just you you spend a lot of time in winter out in Russia and had a great time. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see everybody. I actually was doubting whether I should jump uh on uh, the Facebook live today because at seven o'clock we have our uh, Zoom call, and today we are discussing lessons from the past relationships that didn't work out. How fun is that, guys? So if anybody want to join last minute, uh, drop me a personal message, and I'll send you the details. Yeah, so we're gonna, yeah, you know, we have some paid calls, we have some, uh, we, you know, we have some free calls, it just really depends, you know, we have different topics. So... Nice to see you, Bryce. I'll get back in touch with you, and I hope that you're doing well. Yeah, guys, you know, I want to tell you something while I can uh, be about the scams. If the lady tells you, oh my gosh, you know, I can, I have visa open to U.S., I just need you to, like, send me tickets money, or I just need you to pay for my stay, and uh, all that, guys, it's very very hard to get visa to United States um, ah, oh my gosh Dave you gonna <laughs> you gonna push me to do it I guess uh, yes you know I would like to help you guys to uh, meet other people okay I'm gonna tell you my secret okay that's some project I'm working right now on so um, I'm planning to I'm considering seriously and I'm putting my plans together on leading a tour to Ukraine in the second part of June and July. These are not my favorite months, I don't like the heat, <laughs> but a lot of you guys have a vacation at that time. So what my tour would be, it's going to be um, very personal, very individual. I just want you guys to have fun because most people I see have the same kind of lifestyle we go on like tv bed no waking up going to work watching tv go on facebook go to bed that's pretty much it and uh, i didn't even announce anything i was thinking about doing the tour and people start uh, reaching out to me and asking me so i feel that i have no other choice and so what what i would offer is a mix of things for example, we can prearrange, you know, some socializing, you know, with people who want to, you know, meet up, who want to learn the language, who want to travel, you know, of course, I mean, single women who just want to have some, some, uh, to explore, you know, you can't count that, oh my gosh, I'm going to walk out of my house today and I'm going to run into Prince Charming. But I can prearrange certain things and when I have a group of people that I trust and I know, uh, you know, my uh, subscribers are very high level people that I, I really appreciate and so we can have some fun but my thing what I want to do is I want to have spontaneous meetings I want to go out, I want to go to the parks, I want to go to certain restaurants, I want to go to certain music places and socialize and just talk to people you know, in Kiev uh, downtown we have many restaurants with all kind of music and um, places where people just get to know each other. And so I was thinking that having some spontaneous social interaction would be fun for you guys. You know, we are so addicted to online, like everything is online, and I have nothing against it. And I, I, as I said, I have absolutely nothing against having some prearranged things. But also, I would like to see you coming alive, and I would like you to see you going dancing at night and trying exotic foods and talking to people, you know, and also, you know, we can go to the library, you know, if you want to meet good girls, go to the library, you know, don't go to the strip club. <laughs> I mean, we can go to Subway and try, like, you know, take some, some, uh, you know, rides on the train and it's pretty, it, it can be pretty uh, intense. 
So some real life, you know, and try some Ukrainian food and stuff like that. So they say no. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty scary, but it's it's a lot of fun. No, it's not scary. So anyways, guys, that's, uh, th that's you know, I'm just catching up with you. I'm talking of all kinds of things today. But um, I'm working on this project. So if any of you going to, uh, if any of you are considering going to Ukraine, I've already have a few people that are interested. So I'm working on three different packages. And uh, you can come, um, so it would be second part of June and July. So I'm probably be there for about a month or month and a half. Um, and I would meet you at the airport and we will do some arrangements before that. It's still, you know, I'm working together. I'm getting this plan together with um, Dave. He's helping me and there might be another person helping me as well. So... Tell me your ideas. Let me know how you feel about it. Do you have vacation time? Would you like to go? My ideal um, time, you know, would be really in fall because I love fall. But I'm going to give it a shot in summer. So I will keep you uh, um, updated with my progress uh, because I'm only working on it. I was thinking of going in fall, but... I'm receiving a request of going in summer. So, and for me, it's important what you guys need, not what I think is good. So, and I just want to warn you too, I'm taking a little bit of time off. Uh, end of this week and next week. I'm, you're still going to see some of my videos, but I'm taking some time off, guys. I need to recharge. I need to um, get myself replenished so I can be of good service to you because you cannot give from empty glass that's a lesson I'm learning yeah <laughs> oh guys you have a whole bunch of conversations there but anyways I'm happy to see you thank you to everybody who popped in today what a surprise I love seeing uh, my people my subscribers some of my friends I just really appreciate you thank you for hopping you know, so I'm right now going to uh, my Zoom call. If anybody want to jump in last minute, uh, send me a message here on Facebook and I'll give you the link. So I, so we can have a conversation on uh, on Zoom. And I'm going to stop Zoom calls for two weeks. I'm taking two weeks off. So we will have them next month in uh, April. So... Zoom is great, Bronson, because it's interactive. Like, I can talk here, I'm talking basically to myself. <laughs> and when I have Zoom, I can see my um, members, we can ask questions, we can share stories. Uh, depends on the topic. So if you if you have time, hop in, or uh, you probably do... So yeah, it's similar, it's kind of like Blab used to be, yeah, but it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's about it's about to start in 10 minutes, yes. So, I love Zoom most of all because of interaction. Because people can learn from each other, can make friends. It's a very small group, it's not a lot of people. And I love it. Well, you know, you can... Uh, well, it, it's up to you, you know, you can try... You can uh, close the video. So, some, sometimes on Zoom, if you have video it's bad but if you close um the video the connection gets better uh bradley send me a message here to um oh my god you do you are sell out bronson <laughs> congratulations i'm so happy for you yes you know your if you would share some experiences that would be so priceless yeah that is so so wonderful by the way guys a great way to meet a wonderful russian ukrainian lady is to go on exchange site or some knowledge site or you know somewhere where professional people uh, meet because um i i hear good stories about language exchange yes haha <laughs> yeah right <laughs> don't worry about that uh i want you to have an awesome time I'm very happy for you. Yeah, I'm going somewhere too, but I'm not going to tell you guys. Okay. Uh, okay, you know what? Maybe I can drop... Okay, I'm going to... 
if you guys send me a private message here on Facebook, I will send you the link to, to the Zoom call. Um, and I'll, tell, I'll send you the details for that. So, thank you everybody. And have a great flight, Bronson. And some of you I'm going to see in a few minutes at Zoom. So, have a wonderful night everybody. I appreciate you. You're awesome. My, my subs are the best. Yes, пожалуйста. Have a wonderful time, everybody. It was awesome to see you.